Leon Battista Alberti published the very first perspective diagram in a book called On Painting, published in 1435. In it, he has a definition of art. Well, I get, okay, painting, specifically paintings. I, It's probably one of the least romantic definitions of what a painting is. He calls a painting the intersection of a visual pyramid at a given distance with a fixed center. Not especially romantic, but <clears throat> it fits the bill for perspective. That's exactly what an image is. So let's break that down a little bit. So here's our diagram we've seen a couple times. So we have the image, which would set here on the picture plane, which is our, you know, our piece of paper, really, that we're drawing. This is where we, the image lives, right on the, the surface. So the, the intersection of a visual pyramid, this is the intersection the picture plane. The visual pyramid looks like this. It's like the light rays are hitting this object and they're being projected to the viewer's eye. They actually thought back in the, at, in the 1400s, they considered they wouldn't they didn't consider them light waves, but they were not thinking about things coming to the the eye. They were pretty uh, viewer centric in their thought process. They considered the eye projecting out. So even though we kind of reverse this around now, it looks the same. It's a kind of the same idea as whether this is projected out to the object or how it actually is light rays are bouncing off the surface and projecting to the eye where the intersection of these these rays where they hit the surface of this piece of glass that is your intersection that's where the the image is the visual pyramid is this those light rays they come in the, the shape of a pyramid and at a given distance so the painting is the intersection of the visual of a visual pyramid at a given distance so they're talking about the distance between this viewer and this picture plane that is the, the given distance. It's a set distance, how far the viewer is from this picture plane. And a fixed center is actually this guy, this, this station point. Your eye is the fixed center. It's fixed. It doesn't move around. The distance is given. That doesn't change. It's an image from a particular spot in space. And that is the uh, that is a visual pyramid. Another thing that you don't really have to think about when you're drawing uh, a perspective drawing, but it's it's there. And this was part of the concept that enabled those early artists to come about a method to draw things accurately.